Alrighty, today we're going to be looking at a camera offset for your tracking. Um, so instead of, uh, I've got a different method, so instead of using those sort of combined rotators and all this other stuff which can create messy results like that, um, I've got a parent based system which I believe is better um, and it's simpler to use as well. So uh, we're going to look at how to do that today. So that's very important for uh, getting a tracked footage to line up. Um, which I will show you in a second. So I'll show you what it looks like done. Alright, so I'm demoing it in VR, but that's simply because it's the easiest to uh, see what's happening without looking at the camera view, but this is what we're going to end up with, which is the offset my camera has to the Oculus controller. Um, and you see, so the problem you get when you need to take note of is the uh, the controller's pivot point. So the controller's pivot point is itself, and so you've got to be careful that you don't accidentally move the pivot point because the controller does not move in real life either. So its pivot point is always in the same spot. So we need to come up with a method that sort of accounted for that, which is, which in my case was using the um, apparent base system, which I found a lot easier and quicker to set up than sort of a bunch of combined rotators and other stuff, which I've been trying for a few days. Um, and so this is what we end up with. And as you can see, I'm holding the camera, not the Oculus controller, by the way. And as I rotate the camera around, it rotates perfectly. Ooh. And so we're going to have a look at how you do that. It's really quick. Alrighty, so to have a look at how this offset works is rather easy. So we're in our, um, I'm going to delete that. We are in our, um, I guess main file, I don't, I don't know. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, and so what we're going to do is, this is a blueprint. Um, and so this is the one I used for the, um, delay like so. Um, and so it's rather simple blueprint. We get our transform and then we store it and all that sort of stuff. So most of the offset stuff goes between here. So it affects the position and rotation coming out of the, the, this get tracked vice, and then it goes on its merry way. Um, the problem is that moves the pivot point of the controller, which it doesn't move in real life. So that's sort of not how you should be doing that. So um, instead, what we're going to do is add an offset uh, and sort of a parent system. Um, so you might think that's a bit difficult to do, you know, given this all these inherited stuff. Um, but uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. So I originally came up with this, I guess, when I did my very first original tutorial for the Oculus Rift, um, but that wasn't using the Blueprint camera. So that didn't work with the uh, Composure. So, um, the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure, so at the moment we're setting the transform, whether that be with a delay or without a delay, um, of the camera ca uh, component. Instead, we want to set, do it to the scene component. Um, now, this will make the um, moving around a bit more difficult, I think. I don't know, I don't actually have the uh, relocation stuff in this one, so I'll have to double check to see if that affects it. But I don't believe it should. Um, and so we want to set it of the scene component and then we want to affect the camera component is going to have our offset, which is going to represent our real life camera. Alrighty, to add the, so we swap that, so we set the scene component. So to add the offset to our camera, all we have to do is click on the camera component and just move it around. So I believe I did mention this in the, um, uh, what's a, what calls it's tutorial when I actually set up the blueprint camera, but I guess it deserves its own look at, uh, cause I've had a bunch of people ask me how to do it. So there you go. So we're just going to add it. Oop. Um, so rotation is in degrees and location is in centimeters. Um, so just remember that when you're entering it into unreal, um, the Oculus controller is a bit tricky to calculate because of uh, in the 3D printed mount, it sits at a weird angle. Um, so I've sort of, I've done the hard work for you. So uh, I've written it up here. So the rotation is 77, negative 38 and negative 10. Um, 
negative 38 and negative 10. And so that is the rotation of the controller if you're using the right controller uh, with it facing forward inside the mount, like so. Uh, then the offset for the Oculus controller is uh, the center of its tracking is just underneath the A button in like the middle of the controller where the A button is. Uh, and so you need to calculate the distance between that and your camera lens. Just remember it's at an angle. So, you know, you've got to sort of calculate the angle and then back in again. Um, so for my DSLR, the EOS M50, it was five, negative 45 and negative 26. Um, so it was a bit annoying to calculate, but uh so five what did i say in five negative 45 and negative 26. Alrighty, and so just like that what we end up with is uh like that so the camera is on my table which is relatively flat table and now if i pan down it pans, tilt left, right, rotate, like that. There is a delay because the delay's on, so it looks a bit funny to me. But, so that is our offset, which is really easy to do. Uh, now, you may notice in my blueprint, I have a set relative location and location for the cinema camera, cine camera component. Um, now, I'm using that instead of applying straight to the camera, like that, um, for a reason that will be obvious in the next tutorial. But this is another way of doing it. Set the relative location and rotation, like so. That way we get the same effect. So that's plugged in on the event, event begin play and we get the exact same effect. And so this is very important to get your camera to line up with the track.